If you have completed your research work and drafted your PhD thesis, then that thesis need to be successively edited. If you are in a stage of finalizing your PhD thesis, then this video is for you. This video, we are going to discuss what factors you need to consider while editing your PhD thesis. Let's see what is the basic format of any PhD thesis. It consists of front informative pages, which basically include the title page, the acknowledgement, the consent letter, the index and all. Next is the chapters. The very first is the introduction chapter in which you are going to set up the tone of the background and the hypothesis and the future plan you are going to do in your research work. Next is the actual results. You are going to justify the results. You are going to explain the results in further chapters. The chapter may range from three to four to six or eight. It depends on the researcher what amount of work he has performed. Finally, you need to summarize your result and you need to give some implications that can be used by other researchers based on your research work. What he can develop more in that particular research. That is nothing but the future scope of your research. Let's begin. The very first thing you need to be very careful is the beginning pages. That includes the title page, the preface, the acknowledgement, the consent of each head of the department, index and the table of figures. The title page must include the title of your research work, the researcher's name, the supervisor's name, the university name and the logo of the university. In acknowledgement section, you can name or acknowledge those people who have helped you during your research work. The consent of head of the department is again very important. It is going to authenticate that that particular research work has been done in a standard guidelines. Next is the index. You need to provide the page numbers of whatever you have written in your thesis very accurately so that the reader can access whatever he need very exactly. Now you can make an extra page of table of figures, table of equations. You can accordingly choose. Next is the updated literature review. You need to systematically relate the present work that you have performed with the work that has already been done so that it helps to understand what is the basic foundation of your research. It helps the reader to understand how you have come up with the idea of your research work. Next is the plagiarism you need to check the plagiarism of your thesis. Remember, this is very important. If the plagiarism is exceeding 30%, then the, according to UGC guideline, your PhD cannot be accepted for further evaluation. Now, you can check the plagiarism by several softwares. Few of the examples are Authenticate, Plagiarism Checker, and so on. You can find many options of software online. Now, what you need to avoid the plagiarism, the very first thing you can do is write whatever you have done in your own words. Even then you find the plagiarism, then you need to paraphrase those ideas or those statements which are being shown in the plagiarism software. It is very important to remove the plagiarism. Next, you need to check the grammar and remove the redundant words. In grammar, you need to be very careful where you have used the singular or the plural or where you have used the active voice or passive voice. So accordingly, you need to check the text of your research work or the thesis carefully. In case of redundant, let me discuss one example. Here, I have written a sentence, many alternative options are available. Now this sentence can be rewritten as many alternatives are available or many options are available. So you can see that any one of the word can be removed in this statement or it can be rewritten or rephrased in such a way. 
so you need to identify such redundant words those words that are unnecessary or excessively written in your phd thesis it will create more clarity about what you want to convey in your research work next is the formatting for that you need to visit the guidelines given by the university in which you are pursuing your phd degree in that you need to see what kind of font what kind of font size you should use for various places suppose you have a heading or subheading then you need to see what kind of font size is required or what kind of font size is indicated by the guideline you need to see what kind of bibliography scheme can be used for the references for the research article or the books so this formatting is very important next you need to check the figures and the table what kind of figures are required either jpg tiff or any other format can be used accordingly you need to maintain the same format throughout the thesis maintain the figure size align the figures organize your tables very carefully figures and tables should have very explanative captions it is very important that you mention those numbers of figures and table in the text of the thesis as well next you need to check the units symbols and the abbreviations use either the si system or the cgs system depending it depends again on the researcher what scheme he has used next you need to use the standard symbols suppose there is a velocity of light then we use a standard symbol such as c so you you must normally use the standard symbols next is the abbreviations you should use the same abbreviation throughout the thesis don't change the abbreviation for every chapter or every page suppose for example once i am using a non linear optical as nlo in my thesis then throughout the thesis i must use nlo for non linear optical check references very carefully you need to provide the relevant references in the thesis don't cite irrelevant references it will create ambiguity it will create misunderstanding to the reader avoid self citation unless and until it is necessary you need to cite you need to provide the reference for the equations or the known facts suppose you are indicating some value standard values in your thesis then you, you need to acknowledge from where you have taken that particular values or the equations i hope this video will help you in framing or editing your phd thesis in a very organized way if you like this video please subscribe